Hello, my name is Tommy Chamberlain and I'm the Exhibit Director of the World of Jesus on display here at the Appalachian Center for the Arts in downtown Pikeville, Kentucky. We're here to September 11th and we hope you come out and join us. We have over 100 artifacts from first century Israel on display, uh, authentic 2,000 year old artifacts from the Middle East, the era of the early Roman era we may say archaeologically or maybe you're more, more familiar with the New Testament. Uh, term. You know, we're in Kentucky, so we're in the Bible Belt. We're very familiar with the Gospel stories and the New Testament, uh, but uh, the world is 2,000 years ago. What's the culture like? What are people eating out of, drinking out of? What are their homes like? Uh, how do they dress? What's daily life like? Well, those are the sort of things we tackle in this exhibit uh, as we explore artifacts that take us from the manger to the cross uh, when we explore the Gospel story. So one of the things we look at here at the World of Jesus is everyday life and also some very famous accounts uh, from the New Testament text. And so without going all into it, uh, probably one of the most famous is one that we see every year around December, especially local churches putting on Christmas plays. The account of the birth of Jesus uh, in the book of uh, Luke and the book of Matthew. And we see Jesus born in Bethlehem in a manger. Uh, and often we, we impose our modern Western mind on the story and we've got a wooden trough like we'd find in our modern barn uh, and the baby's being laid in this wooden trough or manger. But in reality in the first century that's probably not what it was. We're looking at a very good replica of a first century manger. Uh, and when we look at this, it would have been stone with the recess here where they would feed the animals. And a little common sense says if we put something soft in here, uh, this becomes a perfect cradle, crib, whatever we want to call it, as the baby can't roll out. Uh, and it makes a lot of sense. So we're looking at what a typical first century manger would look like uh, from 2,000 years ago. Archaeologically, we believe this is a good chance that this is a perfect example of something that's become a pop history uh, icon. And so my hero, a guy named Indiana Jones, in one of his movies, goes after the Holy Grail. And he's looking for the cup that Jesus drank from at the Last Supper. And the, the, the movie does a real good job of explaining what the cup probably isn't. Uh, but our archaeologist says they might have should have asked an archaeologist what it probably would have been. So at a first century Passover meal, which is this is what the Last Supper is, most likely the cup served for those Jewish believers uh, to use would have been something that couldn't become impure probably a stone vessel like this one. So are we looking at an example of maybe the famous Holy Grail of history? We tend to think so. So in this display we find a few examples of Roman era jewelry. And my wife's favorite are the two gold hoop earrings. So the gold hoop earring is popular in the first century and the main reason is apparently they were popular through the centuries. We don't have good stratification on these two uh, so while these may be perfectly first century what's interesting is you will see the exact same thing in the Israel Museum in Jerusalem dated to the Iron Age 3,000 years old. So we're looking at our crucifixion display here. The one item that we want to look at in the middle here is a Roman era nail. Now because of the remains found of crucifixion victims, we have a pretty good idea of what size nail Romans are using to crucify uh, those who are given the sentence of death with that punishment. And we find on a display an example of an authentic nail from the era that matches that size. Now in the text we also have a reference to Jesus of Nazareth having his uh, side pierced with a spearhead. Uh, we find a Roman era spearhead here and the soldiers cast lots for his garment one of my favorite simple artifacts on display are the small ancient Roman dice that are very common uh, to our modern six-sided die that you might use in a Monopoly game or any other board game. In case you didn't know, we do have found examples of ones that are clearly rigged so the owner could cheat. So the artifact we're looking at here is a bronze statue from the Roman era. So let's ballpark him at 2,800, 1,800 years old of Zeus or Jupiter, or as I like to call him, the big cheese of the Roman gods. Uh, and these type of figurines are very popular at the time. Uh, someone might purchase this to keep at their home and have their own little shrine. But one of my favorite artifacts on display is this small bronze statue of the big cheese, like I said himself, Zeus or Jupiter. Uh, from the time of the Roman era 2,000 years ago. 
Thank you for your brief sample visit here to the World of Jesus. We've shown you a few things that are on display, but keep in mind, we have over 100 authentic ancient artifacts here on display and some very important replicas of other items that are in only in major museums across the world. So we hope you come out and join us. Now, we're going to be here uh, at the Appalachia Center of the Arts at least to September 11th. Maybe we'll extend it. We'll see. Uh, and we're open just to walk in on any weekday from 2 to 5. But if you want to come at a different time or you want to bring a, bring a group, a church group, school group, or even a family group, whatever, you can do that uh, by scheduling an appointment by contacting us here at the Appalachian Center for the Arts. One other really neat thing about our exhibit is our small gift shop. We've got a small bookstore with books you're, you're not going to find on the regular bookshelf. A widow's mat, an ancient coin necklace, or necklaces with Roman ancient glass. Uh, kids books, uh, replica oil lamps, just things that are really neat. We hope you come out and join us uh, and take experience of this unique opportunity here in Eastern Kentucky to experience the ancient world and the world of Jesus, first century Judea and Israel right here in Pikeville, Kentucky.